All right, I've been waiting for this one. It's the Roto Sweep Hardwood Floor Sweeper. That's today's review. Let's crack it open and see what's inside. Today's review is the Roto Sweep Hard Floor Sweeper by the Fuller Brush Company, and I'll tell you why I did the fingers in the air later. But in addition to reviewing this product, I'm also going to compare it to two other products the Easy Edge Hardwood Floor Sweeper and the Hurricane Spin Broom. So, in addition to my review of the Roto Sweep, it's also going to be a three way grudge match of the hardwood spin brooms. There's three brushes, these outer ones spin, take the debris to the center one, which moves it and deposits it into the dustpan, which is back here, and accessed like that, and you dump it out. That's how it works. Let's do a quick demonstration, and I'll show you how it goes. Okay, down there I have my mess, which is some hot Cheetos and some pecans. To use the roto sweep, you push slightly down in a forward motion. You can't go backwards, because it'll actually take everything out of the dustpan. There you go. Then when it comes time to empty it, there you go. It's really as simple as that. But because there's other brooms out there that do basically the same thing, I think it's probably more valuable to see all three of them side by side in some various tests. So that's what I'm going to focus on today. So let's get started on the comparison of these three spin brooms. I've been using both the Easy Edge Sweeper and the Hurricane Spin Broom for quite some time now. I've actually been happy with them, although I've had commenters who have said they didn't like them for various reasons. All I can speak for is my own experience. I found them to work pretty well, but there's one problem that some people may not like about them. Check this out. I haven't cleaned these recently on purpose because I knew I'd be doing this review, but this is the Easy Edge. That's pet hair. Here's the Hurricane Spin Broom. That is also pet hair. The Hurricane Spin Broom and the Easy Edge give you a brush like this so you can clean out pet hair. The Roto Sweep does not give you a brush. Although Roto Sweep doesn't come with one of those little brushes, you could probably use just a cheap comb to do the same thing. But here's how the brush works. Cleaned out. And that's how much pet hair came off of that. So really, I don't think these brushes do a very good job of picking up pet hair at all. But for right now, I want to try several different items on the floor. Mainly, I got these ideas from comments from the first two brooms that I did. So I'm going to kind of do a three-way comparison, show how they all work, and then see if I can come with any kind of conclusion in the end. First test that I did with these three brooms was cereal. I put it on the floor, tested them out, and all three did a pretty good job. Next up was coffee grounds, and I found that for some reason the Roto Sweep kind of struggled with it while the other two, they did a decent job of picking them up. Watch this. Okay, three spills, three brooms. Let's do it. making more of a mess in this coffee. Yeah, it's not really it's not really picking the coffee up very well. I think I just, I'm just spreading it around now. I'm 
not going to say it's 100%, but it's significantly more picked up than the roto sweep. And this is an old unit, and that's brand new. Let's try the Hurricane Spin Broom now. That one did pretty well, too. Again, not 100%. It's got a little bit in the front, but keep going over it. It seems like it's, it's picking up most of it. Not 100%, but most. I tried some crumbs on the floor, and all three of the products did a decent job of picking those up. Next up, we got some cracker crumbs. Let's see how that goes. Look pretty good. Once again, very good. They all did good on the cracker crumbs, that's good. Let's talk for a minute about this Fuller Brush Company business, shall we? Now, back in January of this year is when I first heard of Rotosweep, and I thought it was a little unusual to see a company that old doing a kind of as-seen-on-TV marketing, so I wrote to them and asked them about the product. My email dated January 29th reads, is Rotosweep a true Fuller Brush Company item, or has the Fuller name been licensed to SAS Group who markets that product? I don't see Rotosweep in your product catalog, so it's a bit confusing. The next day, I received a response from the Fuller Brush Company, who seemed to have no idea what the Rotosweep was. They said, we carry the electrostatic carpet sweeper. Is that the item you're referring to? No idea about the Rotosweep. So I sent them a link to the Rotosweep and asked for more information. I said, hi, no, the item is called Rotosweep. The website below is for the product and it has the Fuller Brush Company name on it. The next day I received another response, very vague, saying, Fuller Brush Company does not carry the Roto Sweep. And that's kind of the way it was left for a few months, but later on the Roto Facebook page was starting to get kind of hammered by people that ordered it, hadn't received it, and weren't happy with it. They finally came out and said, yes, the Fuller Brush Company name is licensed for this product. Here's a few responses on their Facebook page. The Roto Sweep you bought was from a licensee that uses the Fuller Brush name. We do not manufacture, sell, or ship this product. Another response says, they use our name to sell a product that they make and manufacture. A third one, yes, we have been receiving complaints about the Roto Sweep like yours. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do from a seller or a manufacturer standpoint because we do not make or sell the product. So if you're relying on the fuller reputation to buy Roto Sweep, you might want to think again. All right, a couple other questions. Where is it made? It's made in China. Someone asked on the other spin brooms how well they work on carpet. Well, they don't work on carpet. I've tried it on both Berber and regular carpeting, and the brushes don't spin at all, like this. Maybe you have a minor concern to some people is how loud these are. Let's take a look at how loud each unit is. So as you can see, the Easy Edge is the quietest, the Hurricane Spin Broom will be the next quietest, and the Roto Sweep is the loudest. For my next test, I put some flour down on a dark surface. I used each broom to pick it up, and then I used a dark cloth to wipe up any residue. While the Hurricane Spin Broom and the Easy Edge did a pretty good job, the Roto Sweep left quite a bit behind, and I don't think it worked nearly as well as the other two. Watch this. By the way, you might see advertising that shows these picking up a sandwich. Well, as I'll show you here, a sandwich is really 
too thick to go in there and it kind of gets smashed into the brush and the dustpan. I don't really recommend trying to pick up a full sandwich with one of these spin brooms. A single piece of bread might work, but not a full sandwich. If I had to choose the best one of these three, my pick would go to Easy Edge. And why do I say Easy Edge? Because number one is the quietest of the three. It also, along with the Hurricane Spin Room, picks up better than the Roto Sweep. Also, the dustpan is easier to access with this uh, configuration rather than the spin broom. And finally, this is the only one of the three where the brushes are easy to remove. In fact, you can use the back of this brush to remove the brushes instead of having to use a screwdriver. So in every category, Easy Edge is the top or tied for best as far as those three go. Now what about between the Hurricane Spin Broom and the Roto Sweep? I would go with the Hurricane Spin Broom. It picks up better than the Roto Sweep and it's a little bit quieter than the Roto Sweep. So that means the Fuller Brush Company Roto Sweep comes in the bottom of my tests. Have you used the Roto Sweep or one of these other spin brooms? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe for more as seen on TV product reviews from me, James White with Freakin' Reviews.